हेलो दिस इज संजय साने फ्रॉम सानेज अकेडमी इन कंटिन्यूएशन विथ अर्लियर वीडियो इन विच वी हैड सीन हाउ क्रॉसवेल स्कोर वर्क्स और हाउ द के फोल्ड क्रॉस वैलिडेशन ऑप्शन इन साइकिटलन वर्क्स द लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो विल बी गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन सी दैट वीडियो वॉच द वीडियो इफ यू हैव पॉस्ट इट नाउ इन कंटिन्यूएशन विथ दैट वीडियो लेट अस सी द ऑप्शन ऑफ ग्रिड सर्च इन साइकिटलन here in this example we are continuing with the example of kyphosis kyphosis is a data set taken from one repository the data set kyphosis contains a response variable kyphosis of absence and presence of kyphosis age of the child in days number of vertebrae column and start of the vertebrae column this is such is the data set we have done the gate dummies of it that means we have done the hot encoding of it so with our hot encoding we see that kyphosis present seems to be the response variable hence we have y as kyphosis present and x as all other variables without that kyphosis present as usual we also require to do to call the function stratified k fold why is the stratified k fold recommended over the k fold because this particular problem seems to be a classification modeling problem and hence better it will be that we stratify now here let's consider the algorithm of support vector machines and the kernel radial of it now here in kernel radial we consider the two parameters that is c cost parameter and also gamma parameter which contains continuous values hence let us change this to rbf after we have changed this to rbf let us first of all see the list of available parameters with us for the grid search we can see them with calling the svm that is the object object of that machine learning model dot get params if you see then you can see the list of all the parameters which which can be used in the grid search among them we are going only going to have c and gamma which is here here it is it may contain some continuous values before using the function grid search let us see the grid search cv documentation in grid search cv documentation we have estimator as the first object as the first argument param grid which requires either dictionary of or list of dictionaries and the other things so let us first of all specify the parameter but before we specify the parameter we need to require to list down the values related to the parameters so hence as you see that at the line number 19th what we are specifying are the list of different values which we are want to try with your search for c we have 0.001 point not not one point not one etc and for gamma we have 0.01 point not one point five and p now let's instantiate the grid search cv function well as you see first of all we need required to import this grid search cv function once we have imported grid search cv function we are going to use this now notice that i have specified the first argument as svm then the param grid i have passed the dictionary scoring is equal to rocauc as was done in our previous video 
and CV is equal to K fold. Now let me compare the Crosswell score with grid search. You will notice one thing that in Crosswell score we didn't we used X and Y as argument. Over here we are not using it because basically grid search CV is a class. We are not going to pass directly the objects to it. The objects will be passed in fit function. Let us see the documentation related to that. You will see in the document page of grid search CV that grid search CV is a class and you will find that there are different methods related to the grid search CV and fit is one of them. So hence we will now have GCV dot fit and x comma y. Hence we have executed this GCV dot fit. Let us do away with this earlier code which was there with our file. And now let me print the best parameters and best score. So here it is. We have best params as 0.5 and 0.01 with the best score as 0 0.67399. 339. Sorry. Now you will see one thing that the grid search basically searched across all the combinations of the parameters. C values were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 values of C were there and 3 values of gamma were there. So the combination will be 0 0 0.001, 0 0.01, etc. Let me list down that. So let us see that that there are combinations of C and gamma. In the sense that for every value of C, we will be having every value of gamma. So 0 0.001, 0 0.01. Okay, then again 0 0.001, 0 0.5. All the combinations of C and gamma will be there. So in all C are 5, gamma values are 3. So the combinations will be 5 into 3, that is 15 combinations. Every combination will be tried in the grid search 5 times with K fold. And after it is tried, the average score of it will be calculated. Now if you want to see this particular grid, you require to give, you actually require to call the attribute called cv underscore results underscore of the grid search cv object. This particular attribute will be giving you actually dictionary. It will be very inconvenient for you to view the data in dictionary. So let us do it by converting it into data frame hence on line number 25 i have created one data frame so here is that data frame in which as i had said that for every combination of the parameters different values so c as 0 0.001 gamma as 0 0.1 score five times it will be the first fold second fold third fold fifth one okay one two three four five and this is the average of it this is the standard deviation of all these five points so hence the best param will be that particular param for which mean of the k fold scores will be highest and it seems over here that mean is highest for this particular record for which C is 0.5 and gamma is 0.01, the score seems to be, the mean score seems to be the highest which is 0.673397 which comes out to be our best score accordingly. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please click the like button and for latest updates from me, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you.